So good morning everyone. Welcome to today's Healing Minute from Virtual Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary. I'm Tracy talking to you from Belfast. Wherever you are though, thank you for making the time to join us. Whether you're watching us live or on catch up and an extra special warm welcome to any newbies that have joined us today. So the theme today is loving kindness and I shall read an article and meditation on this later by John Phillips. Now that's from the 2015 Summer Healer magazine. And what better music to listen to in preparation for the Healing Minute than love from the album In Unity by Tim Wheater and David Lord. As part of our preparation, we'll start with some relaxation. I hope you're somewhere comfortable, if you wish, all wrapped up, feeling nice and warm and cosy and safe. I'll just touch, turn that down a little bit. There we are. So please shut your eyes if it's safe to do so. Park all thoughts to one side and clear your minds of any worries or concerns. Bring your awareness to the breath. Remember the air we breathe, we share. It unifies us and connects all life on earth. We cannot see it, it's invisible but without it, there'd be no life. So breathe in this invisible life force, this healing energy. Fill your lungs and feel the life it gives you. And as you breathe out, release all your personal stresses. And take another deep breath in and inhale. And then exhale, allowing it to flow through your body. Breathe down through your head. Relax your eyes, your jaw, your neck. Breathe down through your shoulders, down through your arms to your hands and out through your fingers. Now another deep breath, this time breathing all the way down through your body, all the way down through to your base down your legs to your knees, down to your feet and out through your toes. Now visualize yourself in your special place or time on this fine spring day. And wherever you're enjoying a few minutes in your little bit of paradise, we'll begin our attunement for the healing minute. So we give thanks we're gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And Harry Edwards remembered, Wherever you may be, I am there for you. You are not lost to me, I shall still care for you. I am not someone whom you once have known, taken away to leave you all alone. Tell me of the pain or fear deep in your heart. 
just softly speak my name, we're not far apart. So that in dreams, when the long day is through, I may send healing once again to you. And the great invocation. From the point of light within the mind of God, light has come forth into the minds of men. Light is now anchored on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, love has come forth into the hearts of men. Love has returned to earth. From the centre where the will of God is known, purpose is guiding the little wills of men, the purpose which the masters know and serve. From the centre which we call the race of men, the plan of love and light is working out and is cleansing harmful energies. Love, light and power are restoring the plan on earth. And now for the healing minute. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder may receive healing for their highest good. We request healing for their family, friends, and people for whom they've requested distant healing. And that includes all the animals as well. May they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they're allowed to receive for their highest good. And our thanks and blessings for your help here today and to all our friends in spirit. Thank you very much, everyone. Right, I'm just going to take a sip of tea. Mm. Our notices for today. So this Thursday, which is the 26th of May, amazingly enough, it's going really fast, isn't it? At 10.30 a.m., please join us for Grief and a Cuppa. It's an informal, friendly gathering for anyone who has been bereaved, no matter the length of time. Light refreshments will be available. This is a community group run by the bereaved for the bereaved. So it'd be lovely if you can join us then at the sanctuary. And at two o'clock, after that, join John in the Zoom room for his second meditation this month. It's another chance to forget all about the hustle and bustle and give your, yourself permission to let go and just be. So that's Thursday at two o'clock. And then the following day on Friday the 27th of May at 10.30 in the morning, join Tara for a gong bath. Enjoy this wonderful sound therapy at the sanctuary. The sound vibrations have a clearing effect on emotional issues, breaking up limiting and negative thought patterns. A perfect way to give yourself some loving kindness. And on that note, the reading today as I said before, is Loving Kindness Meditation by John Phillips. This goes way back to summer 2015. So as many of you know already, um, John, John um, takes us through some guided meditations on a Thursday afternoon. And he happens to be doing one this Thursday. So as I said before, he wrote this article for the Healer magazine way back in summer 2015. 
and some of you will be able to hear him again on Thursday on Zoom. So do join him then. But this is loving kindness, something we tend to forget. Loving kindness meditation is a wonderful way of changing the way we look at the world and the people around us. It is a method of developing compassion and loving kindness, but it's essentially about cultivating love, acceptance for ourselves and others. This type of meditation helps to promote a softening of our hearts and provides an opening to deeper levels of the feeling of kindness and love. It also focuses our mind on the way we look at the world and the people around us. This meditation helps to enable us to break down barriers in the way we may inwardly feel about ourselves and others, and in particular deal with any conflicts in our relationships. Practicing this meditation will help us to promote harmony, self-esteem and confidence, as well as assisting us to focus on peace, calm and tranquility. We are often taught as children that we should love others as ourselves and love our neighbour whilst forgiving our enemies. But how do we learn to love others? And what happens if we don't particularly like, never mind love ourselves? The practice of loving kindness meditation demonstrates that happiness comes from empathising with others and seeing their well-being and suffering as being as, an, an important, as important as our own. It revolves, I'll start again. It revolves around care, concern, tenderness, loving kindness and friendship. It is about developing consideration, forgiveness and a feeling of warmth and promoting, focusing and striving for peace, calm and tranquility and less conflict in our relationships. To change how we feel about another person, we firstly need to be able to accept ourselves, other people and deal with as many types of situations. If we feel comfortable with ourselves by recognising our own faults, we will be able to start addressing the foibles and faults of others, which will be useful in the way we, check, we feel about them. This will create harmony and enhance our self-esteem and self-confidence. Consequently, we are less likely to be insecure or threatened by those who through their own envy, jealousy or lack of self-worth have had a negative effect on us. By addressing these issues, we will go a long way to developing consideration and finding a solution to any conflict. It should also enable us to empathise with other people and appreciate those positive qualities that we admire while concentrating less on their foibles, faults or ill will. Learning to forgive and letting go of any hatred or anger will help us to create and obtain the right balance between ourselves and the needs of the other person. This will assist in dispelling any negative thoughts on our part, which can have a detrimental effect on our own health, whilst at the same time promoting positive vibes emotion and healing to both ourselves and the other person. We should reflect on when we may have wished misfortune or ill will on another person and develop a sense of regret for such actions and resolve to forgive them for any wrongdoings against us. We should accept that forgiveness will have a positive benefit for us and create change for the better. We should resolve to be mindful of the fact that others, despite any wrongdoing against us, are probably just like us in many other ways, and that we need forgiveness, love and compassion. We should let go of our own associated negative thoughts and energy, as they have a detrimental effect on our emotions and health. Although forgiveness can undoubtedly be very difficult, we can learn from the practice of loving kindness meditation to listen, learn, think and meditate on ways of developing knowledge and wisdom and our feelings towards a person who has wronged us. By imagining a way that is kind and forgiving and possibly accepting the unacceptable, we can demonstrate compassionate tolerance, which will ultimately be beneficial for us. 
It is important to remember that vengeance really is senseless, but that forgiveness is natural and that avenging wrongdoings against us is counterproductive and is more like hurting ourselves twice. The practice of loving kindness meditation can help us to look, accept and forgive what is there without censorship and acknowledge that however much we judge ourselves, we nevertheless may regret certain qualities that we find in ourselves and others. Anger and denial can only make things worse and we need to take a detached look at ourselves and develop loving feelings and forgiveness towards other, ourselves and others. One step to help us to be able to forgive ourselves is to list 10 good things about ourselves. This is very beneficial, especially as there are likely to be more than we initially think, and we need to review and add to this list on a regular basis. Cultivating these positive attributes will help us to swamp any negative traits and outnum outnumber them. And by meditating, we can familiarize our minds with appropriate thoughts, which will assist us to see positive qualities in ourselves and others. We should endeavour to practice our mental relaxation and meditation regularly and one good way to start is to adopt the following techniques. Feel loving kindness for yourself and focus on feelings of peace, calm and tranquility. Let these grow into confidence and develop them into love within your heart. Visualise golden or pure white healing light flooding your body which will assist to stimulate in, to, in stimulating feelings of loving kindness towards yourself. Wish yourself well. Honour what is good in you and forgive all your failings. Now imagine someone walking towards you who you love and is close to you. For example a parent or a child. Think about what you can do for them and feel your love and affection for them. What would they like from you? How will they feel receiving it? Remember times you have shared in the past and what they have given you and feel affection and bathe in the love you feel for them. When you are happy with the situation, watch them walk away into the distance. Now think of a good friend, someone who you respect. Think of their good qualities and encourage them to grow as you think of how they have helped you or taught you in life. Concentrate on these feelings and how much you admire and love your friend. Visualize a shining light from your heart to their heart as you watch them walk into the distance. Bring to mind someone to whom you are indifferent, perhaps a stranger you pass in the street or the postman or work colleague reflect that they just like you experience the joys and suffering of life. Open your heart and extend feelings of loving kindness to them. Visualize someone you dislike, have quarreled with or has wronged you as they are walking towards you. See yourself being friendly, loving and positive and try not to get caught up in feelings of hatred or ill will. Try and sense this person's true self, which may be trapped within a dysfunctional personality and whose goodness is crying out to be recognized. Send loving kindness thoughts and try hard to see things from their perspective. Now think of the five different people described above, all together, including yourself, and extend your feelings further by visualizing connectedness and waves of loving kindness from your heart to all of them, and then extend this further to include the whole world. We practice loving kindness meditation and a mind of compassion for others can be regarded as more than wishing peace, happiness, and good conditions for other people. By undertaking this practice, we are undoubtedly learning to forgive ourselves but are challenging thoughts and assumptions about others and counteracting any of our own hatred, ill will, anger and negative states of mind. And there we are, lots to think about there and some homework as well. Get those lists made out. 
And now for some lovely music. Just get like that. This is a lovely um, song called Loving Kindness by Ashana. And it's from her album, All Is Forgiven. It's very long, so I won't be playing all of it, but it's a beautiful track. It helps you just get into that frame of mind. going to continue to play that but I just thought I would read through just these little bits before I finish and then uh, I will continue in playing because it's quite a long track great to listen to while you're making your lists so do please remember if you need healing you just need a chat we're here for you we're available for our telephone Skype or zoom healings or you can visit us now at the, church, uh, the sanctuary for contact healing. So um, do pop over and see us if you can there, or if you can't, contact us in the other ways. And all the information on how to do that is on our website and Facebook page. So bye for now. Do join us again on Wednesday when Gary will be taking the virtual healing minute. And as our motto states, wherever you are, we're here for you. So I just listen, listen a little bit more to this lovely track.
everybody. Take care.